What's going on everybody? CBD Fishing here and today I want to talk to you guys about frog fishing. All right, I have here the River to Sea Spinois and uh, I went ahead and made an adjustment to this frog and I want to show you guys as soon as it comes out of the package what you should be doing to your frogs to increase your hookup ratio. All right, first go ahead and make a decision. Uh, the shortest I make my legs is an inch and the longest I make them is an inch and a half. Go ahead and make an assumption that you're going to want to trim your legs because you don't want to fish grabbing these things instead of the frog and not getting your hooks in the fish. All right, after that, you're going to want to grab a pair of pliers and you're going to want to look behind the bend of this frog or any frog you have and reach behind the bend, behind the barb, and you're going to want to pull that frog up away from the frog. Not too much, just a slight adjustment. Then you're going to want to come to where the bend's at in the hook, and you're going to want to pull away from the frog on the side. All right? And what you're doing when you do that is you're lifting the hooks up and you're lifting the hooks out. And that's going to increase your hookup ratio. Okay? So you should feel the hooks very easily. They're a slightly off of the body of the frog. If you were to look at them uh, from left to right, move the body around a little bit, you'll see that the hooks come out more. And that's what you're gonna you're gonna want to increase that hookup ratio. All right, next up, I tie a uni knot with braided line. This is 65 pound braid. Uh, I believe the product I'm using is Power Pro, and I'm using a brown color. You know that really doesn't matter to me with the frog. I don't mind having my line visible as much. All right, next color choices. I use white, I use black, and I use anything between peach, chartreuse, and tan on the bottom, okay? That peach, chartreuse, tan, yellow color seems to really be more natural and works as well as the white. All right, so those three color schemes, anything in this palette scale, black and white, all right? So next is the equipment. I have here a seven foot six or seven foot four heavy backbone light tip frog rod. This is called the Light and Tough by Daiwa. I don't believe they make this anymore, but it's a frog rod. It has a frog on the back to let you know it's for frogging. And I use a seven to one gear ratio reel. This is a, this is a Daiwa zillion. All right, now there and get you a seven to one gear ratio reel and get you a good rod for frogging. And technique wise, all you're simply gonna do you're going to throw this frog out there, and you're going to let it sit for about 30 seconds. A couple techniques. There's the chug. That's where you simply tap your rod, and you're going to get this bait to just chug along. All right, and I like using the spit and wah version because of the cup. Uh, you can use, um, Spro makes one that does the same thing. There's other brands of frogs out there that have a cup and a mouth that moves water. So I like to take this bait, and I'll rip it. So I'll pull about this distance straight across the water like that. It's going to cause water to just engulf this bait as well as spit out. And there's going to be a huge bubble around this bait. It's going to move around, kind of boil itself uh, under the water. And that's going to cause for a lot of vibrations, movements, and cause fish to see this. Now, um, besides the hookup, the legs, uh, there's another technique that's very popular uh, with the chug and the rip. And that's walking the dog. Now this technique... I hold my rod down at this angle right here. Can't really explain this to you. This is just exactly how my rod goes across my body when I'm frog fishing. Uh, I fish from a bass boat, so the tip of my rod is almost touching the water. And I'm simply just flicking my wrist in all my movements. Now, walking the dog is pretty simple technique. When you make that initial adjustment to tap the bait and pull the slack, what happens is this bait will pull across, stop, and turn. And then you wait on the pause, reel in all that slack, tap it again, and if you do it right, it should turn the other direction. And that technique right there is called walking the dog. All right, and you can also, if you move your rod tip very lightly and tap it often, you get a technique where it'll sway. So it'll do this right here in the water, okay? And that's also a walking the dog motion, but that's just in a steady movement. Remember between all these techniques to pause often, because a lot of times you'll get that strike on that pause, all right? 
The other thing I want you to remember is when you're doing this, I want you to reel in all your slack with your seven foot, with your seven to one gear ratio, reel in all your slack when your line feels just tight. If you can see your line, that's gonna be great because you're gonna to wanna to set the hook in the opposite direction. And when I say set the hook, I'm not talking about ripping this thing into this fish. I'm talking feel that pressure and then you're just gonna swing your hips and arm. Uh, I don't like setting the hook hard when frog fishing. Uh, I like to kind of just pull into it. So I'll just turn my hips and pull with my arms off to the to, to the left or to the right, depending on the distance I see the frog. Now, if you don't understand which dis which direction the fish is going, that'll be difficult for you. But uh, over time, you'll start realizing it. Make sure you use some kind of line that you can see. Again, I use braid so I can see the like, cut in the line and I, I know where it's, it's at. Now. What you're gonna want is these two hooks to plow right into the roof of the mouth of that fish. And once they're buried, you're gonna be pretty uh, pretty well off with this 70 uh, frog here. All right, again, this technique is with the River Sea Spit and Wild Frog, but you can do that with any frog out there on the market. Guys, go out there, choose these color schemes, try to get this, some similar equipment, 7 to 1 gear ratio, heavy backbone, light tip, 65 pound braided line, and you should be fine. Again, CBD fishing, keep tight lines, I'm out.